Well, now to a video of a bullying incident that has gone viral. An Ashtabula 12 year old caught on cell phone video bullying one of her classmates. Dorsina Drakeford met with the families of both these girls who are trying to fix things after they say the school district didn't help them. When this video first surfaced of Chad Boland's daughter, Cyrene, being bullied on the playground at Erie Intermediate School, he had had enough. Well, I've been in contact with the school for the past few weeks over the bullying issues, and this stemmed from multiple children, not just one. In the video, you see other kids gathering around, egging Amelia Lott on while Cyrene sits calmly on the swing. I really didn't know what I was doing wrong and people just kept calling me names. And when Tiffany Lott heard those names coming from her daughter's mouth, I was appalled. So much so that she had to talk to the parents of the young girl who had been hurt by her daughter's actions. And my daughter was not raised like that. I don't want to be called like a bully because I felt like a bully, but I know that now I was wrong. Words she was able to say to Cyrene's face after the parents met on Sunday. It wasn't until mom found the video that I reshared on Facebook and contacted me. And that's when we stepped forward to handle the situation because it was clear the school wasn't. For both the girls and the parents, it was a successful meeting and an accepted apology. Her and I have talked it over, sort of, and now we're cool. I just wanted to apologize, meet up with her, and just tell her we were cool and we could be friends. But the middleman in all of this, they say, is the Ashtabula School District that didn't do enough to protect their kids. Nothing just happens randomly. So for them to not tell me, hey, you know, she got into an argument today. They had to be separated today. I was never made aware that there was any kind of issues. I feel like it could have been prevented. Well, it's time for them to reevaluate their policies. You know, there's got to be a better way. Amelia was suspended on Friday, but the superintendent of the district says they're planning to investigate on Monday morning. A little too late for the two families who say hopefully this story shows other students and the district that bullying needs to be taken seriously. Dorsina Drakeford, 3 News.